All right, so as of today, we got a big update for just the game in general. But we're going to start with the stuff that probably everyone's going to ask me about, the gear labs thing. So five new gears have been added. Uh, let's get right into it. One UR, two SSRs, and two Elite Purple, whatever you want to call them. So let's get right into it. Starting with the first one, the UR gear. It is a Sakura Empire DD gun. So we go over here. Here it is. It's the upgraded version of the uh, 100mm Type 98. So, get right into it. So, statistics-wise, it's uh, fit damage. Well, this is damage at, like, plus zero. I'm not going to plus 10 this, but plus, uh, plus zero. Um, hey, on the right side, we can finally use these prints now. So, that's the first. Um, they kind of screwed us over with the 457s. But, hey, we can finally use this now, right? So, that's neat. Um... It's a, uh, it's fire rays 114, 25 firepower, 40 anti-air, HE is 120, 60, 60. So, HE wise, it's pretty good. It may be the new best in slot for, uh, for HE DD guns. I gotta double check that. But from what I see so far though, it's not that bad. The only disappointment here is that it's 25 firepower. I don't know why it's 25 firepower. I think this one is like, all right, this one's 15. <laughs> So this is an upgrade for firepower, that's for sure. But when you compare it to like other DD guns nowadays that are like 30, 35 even, uh, it is a lack. It is a disappointment. A lot of people, including me, thought it was going to be a new best in slot for New Jersey. Uh, I mean, if you want anti-air, sure, but it's t 10 less firepower compared to whatever 35 firepower gun you have as of right now for DD slots. So it is a downgrade for damage, but it's an upgrade for anti-air. For air durability stuff like that but yeah um there's a disappointment for that area but i can definitely see this gun probably being really good for hg gotta double check that i may make one or someone's gonna make one on my discord and we'll test it out um but for the most part though nice gun for hg um for secondaries though there are better better options if you're using like a ussbb or a uh or a gunboat there are much much better options out there or just damage that kind of stuff all right and the next piece of gear we have is going to be the iron blood uh fighters the oh my god i'm not gonna pronounce that. that's uh okay I'm, I'm i'm not gonna pronounce the other word because it, it sounds it sounds like something else but uh the uh the prototype uh, uh that this i'm looking at fighter wait fi no they're um Hey, hold up. Prototype fighter. This is it, right? It's these things. Okay, okay, I was right. I was like, why am I clicking? Okay. The uh prototype Boki Wolf. I'm not gonna pronounce that one, but whatever. Alright, look into it. We have um fire rate of twelve seventy six. I think that's okay speed. Maybe it's a little bit slow, but I think that's alright speed. I gotta double check that, but I think that's okay. Maybe a bit slow. Yeah, it is a bit slow compared to like other rockets. That's pretty. Slow. Um, I mean fighters. Forty-five aviation. A lot of anti-air stuff, and then the main damage dealers. The uh, I don't know what WFRGRs are. Maybe they're like, I think they're torpedoes. I think they are torpedoes. Um, or like rockets or something. But their mods are one hundred ten, hundred ten, and eighty, and has a damage of one hundred fifty. That's okay. Damage mods are pretty nice though. So I think that the idea here was i think the devs realized there was a big success with the ap rockets from pr4 and the havar fighters from the yorktown 2 event so i think this is their way of making a much more accessible damaging fighter that can be an all-rounder for most scenarios if we take a look at the mods right here they're 110 110 and 80 they're pretty good for light and medium armor by all means they're not best in slot but they're like a little jack of all trade fighters that you can use for scenarios here now damage output though gotta double check that uh, i think the damage could be okay i think it's gonna be much better than like a lot of other fighters for damage as of right now for light and medium armor but when it comes to specializers like havars which are on light and ap rockets which are on medium then this plane is going to be very very bad but for all rounders though, i can definitely see this being a pretty good plane um uh, but when it comes to ex like the medium and lights there are much much better options but this is very accessible to a lot of players because ap rockets are gated by pr4 research 
and Havara Plains, as you guys know, is from an event, and that event is gone now. We can't farm those anymore. So this is probably the most accessible fighter they can get that does good damage on light and medium armor as of right now. Next thing we have on the list is going to be the uh, 533 Mark uh, 35 uh, torpedo mounts. Let's see, USS. I don't know why I clicked Royal Navy, but I did. Go over right here. These things right here. All right, so damage is 77 times 4. I guess that's okay. Uh, I think it's widespread, so it's not straight. I had to double check that. I think it's, I think it's straight or widespread. Oh, uh, there are they are magnetics. Okay, never mind. Magnetics. That's actually pretty nice. Uh, fire rate very slow, but I think that's like plus zero, so it's obviously going to be slow. And they have a unique effect as well too. Able to hit underwater enemies, dealing that deals 35% damage when hitting uh, enemies underwater. So it takes far, they take far less damage, but you can still hit them. Um, I can definitely see some usage in this for like events because nowadays events have like so many submarines that you basically have to bring these. So I can definitely see them pretty good for um, event farming. If you guys are into that kind of stuff, if you want like a DD for events or whatever, having this and the uh, hedgehogs for your auxiliary can definitely make things much faster when it comes to clearing um, uh, trash things. But he nowadays, hedgehogs can just destroy lost submarines, so I don't really need it. But having it is pretty nice, though, I will say. Um, otherwise, though, for general content, probably not. It's probably like terrible. But it is a niche torpedo, though. You can definitely see some usage in events. I probably wouldn't use this in World 14. You could probably use it, but I probably wouldn't. But this is probably just for events because nowadays when you see submarines, they're either in events or um, Chapter 14 or whatever that new update they did with the uh, submarines. But I'll look at that in another video. Uh, the other stuff are purple gear. I don't want to talk too much into it. Um, as you guys know, I hate purple gear. Most of them are just absolutely horrendous. Uh, but if we look over here, they added a heavy cruiser gun right here. Um, not gonna talk too much about this one. I think like probably these are probably a waste to make. Honestly, if you want to make them, go for it. It's pretty cheap. They don't use anything like super super important, so that's pretty nice. Otherwise, though, meh. Especially when you guys are doing OS stuff, like you can ignore most of these like side upgrades because you don't really need them. You want to work towards the gold gear stuff? It is much more important there. And uh, Royal Navy, they got a. I don't even know what that even is. It's a like cruiser maybe. It's something. It's purple. I don't know what it is. Anti-air, maybe? Oh, here it is. It looks like a tank. Alright, it looks like a tank. Um, Yeah, unless it gets like a gold upgrade, like 25 anti-air, fire rate. I think the damage is probably pretty trash, too, but I gotta see those. Otherwise, not a fan of this. So, overall, uh, that is the uh, rundown for the uh, gear labs for you guys. Overall, though, I think the best upgrade right here is probably going to be the uh, Iron Blood Fighters that I had talked about earlier. Um, good for people that don't have Havars or um, uh, AP Rockets. You can definitely roll with these planes for a while. Uh, I will wait though to see if, for more general testing, but from what I see so far, though, it looks like pretty nice planes for uh, just regular DPSing. If you guys are struggling with a lot of light and medium armor content because you guys don't have AP Rockets or Havar planes though, Having these will be pretty nice on your carriers. Uh, the U U R uh, I J N D D gun disappointment for me. You guys can probably get some usage out of it. Maybe pretty good for um, uh, light armor by all means. But when it comes to like auxiliaries, though, meh. Don't bother with it. Just use a thirty-five firepower one. But H E for uh, D D stuff could be probably be really good. Probably be pretty good. And then submarine stuff, uh, submarine torpedoes, all right. The usual stuff. So quick rundown for that for you guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video.